Applications of differentiation. In this video, we are going to continue with the gradient of a curve at a given point. You will find this on page 265 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at an example. It's a bit more difficult. Find the gradient of this at the point where x is negative 3. Okay, so we're first going to differentiate. Now this is very nice if it's fx, so it's going to be f dash, and then it makes the substitution so nice. So now in the place of x, we're just going to put negative 3, and the gradient at the curve at this point where x is negative 3 will be 60. Find the y coordinate of this point. So substitute x equals negative 3 in the original equation, fx, not f dash x, to find the y coordinate. So just substitute it in and it will be negative 77. So the y coordinate is negative 77. Let's continue. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now eight number A and E. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number A. Find the gradient of the given curve at the point on the curve. Now, very nice. They give you the x values and it, you always substitute the x values. But if you must find the y coordinate of this point, remember that you must substitute the x value in the original equation. Okay, but let's first start. So in this case, we are going to say, find the gradient of the given curve. What is the function? The function is y is equal to x squared minus 2. So dy, oh, it's actually like this. I thought it was different. dx, and this is going to be 2x, and the constant becomes 0. So when... x equals 1, then dy over dx will, will be 2 and it's 1 and the answer will be 2. So, therefore, the gradient of the curve at the point x equals 1 is 2. And that will be the final. Okay, let's go with the second part. Uh, find the y coordinate of this point. Remember, you have to just substitute the x value in the original. And what was the x value? Don't forget, the x value was 1. It's, it's more important for... for um, um, applications that's come. So it's 1 minus 2 and the value will be negative 1. So therefore when x is 1 the y coordinate is negative one point. Okay, that's number A. Let's look at number E, which is a bit more challenging. Okay. Look at first, and it's, it's, this is why it's so important that you know the rules. So you mustn't struggle, you will struggle with the applications if you don't know the rules. Because if you look at a function like this, it, it's more complicated. Can you see that? So I'm first going to multiply out. Now I, I just want to show you. So it's going to be 2 times 2. So that's going to give me 4. That's all right, square root x. But if I multiply this, can I just show you this? Take it out of the root, so it's a half. 
And as soon as you multiply with another half, okay, which will happen there, then it's a half plus a half, which will just be one. Okay, so keep it in mind. Um, so it's negative two, and now due to that square root x times square root x will just be x. Okay, and then I explain it to you. Now I can start and say dy by dx. Okay, and now don't forget we take it out of the root. I'm going to put it in here. Yes, out of the root. So in this case, dy over dx, it's going to be 4 times a half, and 4 times a half will be 2x. And don't, don't forget, and I'm writing it here, it's a, I like to do it in red. It's almost like I'm writing pencil there. Okay, so it's a half minus 2 over 2. So do you see what's going to become? It's going to become negative a half. And this is going to become negative 2. Okay. And now, don't, so where, no, what is x now for? So I'm going to say where x is 4. Then I'm going to say dy by dx. And now I'm just, and in this case, I want actually to take it, yes, you can leave it like that. I think it's, it's going to work like that. But you can also do it like this. Um, yeah, no, let's, let's first substitute, then I'll show you. So it's going to be 4, and you can press this on your calculator, this trouble. But I want to show you without. Um, so don't forget that it's negative. So if I was going to say it's 2, and then this, and then it's actually in a root of 4. Do you see that? And then the square root of 4. What will be the square root of, of 4? That will just be 2. So 2 over 2 will be 1 minus 2, and that will give you negative 1. Okay. So therefore, the gradient of the curve at x equals 4 is negative 1. Okay, that was the first part. And now, so that was the first part. And now I will come to the second part. Okay, I need space. Okay, let's just do the second part as a final. Okay, so um, I, I always substitute to find the y value in the original. So it's just, um, I, I'm going to write it first down. It's not necessary. And in the original, I'm going to substitute that for. And that's going to be 2 times 2, it's 4. 2 minus 2. Okay, oh, this is interesting. So that will become zero, do you see? And then this will also will be zero. So therefore, when x is 4, the y coordinate is zero. And that's the final. You can try a few, especially this few more difficult ones, number F. Try it. Just remember, take it out of the root to index notation, then it's sometimes easier. And you must divide this one into that um, numerator and this one into that numerator. But the method is exactly the same. We will continue in the next video with another example on this category.